What is up guys, I'm Kyle at Fortune. We're out here at the Rubicon and on this episode of I Dig the Rig, we're checking out David's 1986 Suzuki Samurai. Oh. Hi everyone, my name's David Lighthizer. I'm from Chico, California. This is my 1986 Suzuki Samurai. One point six liter eight valve out of a nineteen ninety one Geo Tracker. It's been rebuilt. It's got the TBI fuel injection, stock Samurai transmission, five speed. Goes into a rebuilt Samurai transfer case, six point four to one with a heavy duty output and the twisted T shift kit. Uh, I got heavy duty drive line that I extended. The rear is a hybrid with a sidekick center section, four sixty two gears and an ARB air locker. Chromoly shafts. Front is a stock Samurai axle still with a TRE air locker, 462 gears, RCV Chromoly shafts. Wheels are Pro Comp 15 by 8, uh, two and a half inch backspace, and I've got inch and a quarter wheel spacers. Tires are 35 inch Maxxis Creepy Crawlers. The kind of wheeling I normally do with this rig is mostly rocks, Rubicon type stuff, anything around Lake Tahoe. A lot of snow wheeling. This vehicle does pretty decent, uh, you know, tiptoeing through all the big rocks and stuff. Kind of struggles on the ledges when you're climbing up the stair steps and it's such a short wheelbase, you kind of have to hit them at an angle and play around with it a little bit different. Does pretty good everywhere, it does really good in the snow. The worst break I've ever had, I was coming through the gatekeeper on the Rubicon and I broke a stock rear uh, axle shaft. And we swapped it out on the trail, I had spare and kept going. And after that I came home and put some chromolies in it. It's been good ever since. My favorite mod on this would be the probably the transfer case. The really little range is, just makes it really nice and easy to drive and get two wheel drive low range in it. It's set up with a true neutral so I can flat tow it if I want to have a tow bar for it. Uh, I'd say the best value mod I've done to it would be probably the motor swap. Found a whole tracker that I uh, got for a hundred dollars. I actually bought it for the power steering to put on this. Decided to keep the motor and go through it, rebuild it boarded out and I sold most of it off and pretty much paid for the motor swap. If I were to start over from scratch I would probably go with Toyota axles right off the bat. I just kind of kept adding to these over time and I had so much into them I, I really haven't had a problem with them but I just feel a little better if I had heavier duty axles right off the bat. I kind of baby it because you know they're really small. Pretty much done. I'm really happy with it. I might clean up the body, maybe paint it. I get a lot of compliments. A lot of people are really surprised to see Samurais. They say they don't see them very often. Um, I get that all the time. We don't see these things anymore around here. No, I don't think I'd ever sell it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it forever. <laughs> Uh, for mods, I'd say just keep it simple. Maybe lift it up enough to clear like some 31 inch tires and put a locker or two in it. Power steering and go enjoy it. They're a lot of fun with not much to do to them.